Hello and welcome to TVJ's Final Whistle. I'm Liam Henriquez and here with me is Simon, a.k.a. Simon Preston. <laughs> Thanks very much, Liam. It's Simon Preston, by the way. It's day 15 of the 2018 FIFA World Cup where we had four matches and six goals were scored. And now we have an idea of what the round of 16 is like. So let's get right into it, right, Liam. So interesting games today. Yeah. Very interesting games, but we'll get to that quite shortly. First up, Poland defeating Japan 1-0. You know, Robert Lewandowski didn't score, yes. but Poland did get the win. Yeah, I mean, for Poland, for me, it's a big disappointment. People were all looking into this World Cup, expecting Lewandowski to maybe be one of the top goal scorers. He didn't even score a goal. Um, so that is actually very stunning and disappointing. Yep, yeah, for them to get three points is pretty good against a Japan team that's been in really good form. Um, Japan, no, 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 nice way to qualify for the round of 16, but they got the win. Um, from my opinion, this Poland team has been very boring and I've watched them even before the World Cup and this Poland team, in my opinion, even though they have Lewandowski, like, I just find them a boring team. Um, ben, Der ben Derek, he's actually done really good, the Southampton defender. Um, yeah, they got the one love win. It's good to at least get three points. Yeah, so I mean, since the turn of the century when Poland has played in the World Cup, they won, have won each of their last group games at the tournament. 2002 in Japan and South Korea, they defeated the United States. And in 2006 in Germany, they defeated Costa Rica 2-1. And now they got by the Japanese 1-0, leaving the tournament with a victory. So, the next game on the day, Colombia booking their spot into the round of 16 after 1-0 victory over Senegal. James Rodriguez, Liam, got off early, but the six foot five inch defender, Yerimina, getting the goal. Yes, that says a lot, saying that their centre back is their top scorer at the moment. <laughs> um, Senegal being the last African team to have a chance, and they got eliminated. My brother was very angry at this, my little brother. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, Colombia, they weren't as good as they were against Poland. I think Senegal going into this game knew what Co Colombia can do to them attacking wise, so they struck it themselves defensively and they did that for a good 70 minutes but luckily from a set piece again Mina heads it in and you, I think the keeper could have saved it he got a hand to it but you can't judge them very like best celebration I've seen this whole World Cup hmm. um, and it says a lot they, they, they can like, grind out a win without James Rodriguez what do you think about the tiebreaker? Because as you know, Japan has advanced over yellow Senegal's card. over Senegal because of yes, yellow, yellow cards. cards. Japan had four yellow cards while Senegal had six. What were your thoughts about this sort of tiebreaker? That's just rough. Like to me, it is. That, isn't it? I mean, like people say, oh, like every sing this proves that every single stat matters, yeah. and. Yeah, it's, it's just rough on Senegal, to be honest. And I mean... Yeah, quite unfortunate for the Senegalese. Kind of like... But credit to Japan, they've played equal. They've played right. really well and... They certainly did. Japan, well, Senegal in the last time that they were in a World Cup 2002, it was a golden goal that knocked them out. A 1-0 to Turkey in the quarterfinals. Now we get to the interesting things oh, in yes. Group G. Panama, the Congo Cup representative, weren't able to get the victory but they lost 2-1 to Tunisia. So an African side on the day getting the victory over Panama. Panama scoring their second ever goal in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. But it's the North Africans that are happy, Liam. Yeah, but in not, to be honest with you, this Panamanian team, I've just been disappointed by them. Um, in CONCACAF, they show much better. They beat Costa Rica to qualify, Costa Rica being a very good side. Mm -hmm. They just haven't shown I, what they really can show. And I guess it's their first time at the World Cup. I'm, there's some young players on this pitch. It's just, they're not experienced. And I guess, when they went one level, one level up, I was pretty surprised, to be honest. I was actually really surprised. Like, all right, this Panamanian team could try to get out of the win. But Tunisia, with two very experienced players, Youssef and Kazri, with two really good goals, Youssef being the, watched, was the play of the day yeah. on TVJ. Right. Um, so, yeah, disappointing from Panama. For Tunisia, it's a nice way to go out. Yes, it certainly is. And is, wasn't that all the matches today in, in the World Cup? Right? You wish. You wish. Really? You wish. There was another one? Which one? Slide the screen. I think that, that it's, it's finished. Oh. Right, England. Oh, England, right. Yeah. England. Nice acting. Yeah. What happened to England today? A 1 0 loss to Belgium, their first loss in the World Cup since a 2 1 loss to Uruguay back in 2014. When they didn't make it to the past the group stage, I just yeah, like to yeah, add that on. Yeah, please. thanks for reminding me of that one, Liam. Are you going to gloat at me now? Yes. Okay. 
For real. Okay. Because I got shame me, when tell me, Argentina lost. So <laughs> tell I me can... all the things that went wrong for my beloved England. Nothing. To, well, <laughs> well, not that much. I Great. mean, it, it's no, it's a, it's a one love thing to Belgium. But it's not like a, a disaster. They still yeah. qualify. It's a one love to Belgium, but. They could be looking at this like Belgium didn't come out with a good side. Yes, England, in my opinion, this England starting roster was better than that Belgium starting roster. Yeah. Um, I think they didn't take their chances at all. Rashford had a clear cut chance, he didn't take it. Welbeck had a chance, they didn't take it. Um, they were about to bring on Harry Kane, they didn't bring him on. So, I mean, I think if they took their chances, and Belgium didn't create that much chances, but they took it. Yanazai with a nice strike. I found it's gonna help him his career because he's kind of disappeared over the years. Um, he used to be a Man United wonder boy and stuff, and that, that kind of helped him. So, um, yeah, one, lit, one love to Belgium. It wasn't an amazing performance, but you can't always have an amazing performance. And they just, for them, it's, this was a massive game because now they play Japan and not Colombia. Yeah. Because the first place was massive in this group and England are gonna have to play Colombia now, which is a much tougher team than a Japan team. Extremely tough indeed. England doesn't have much success against South American teams at the World Cup. The last time they beat Colombia at the World Cup was back in 1998 in France. Remember who scored on that day? David Beckham. Will that player this time around be a Marcus Rashford? Well, only time will tell, but we'll get to that down the road. These are some games on for Saturday. The round of 16, it's win or you go home. Crunch time. We have 10 teams from Europe that have made it to this stage. Four from South America, one from Asia, and one from CONCACAF. So, the first match of the day at 9 a.m. on TVJ. France taking on Argentina which is Liam's team, by the way. Liam, your prediction? Well, France is my brother's team, my little brother's team, so, ah, mm. uh, this is gonna be war. So, uh, I'm gonna have confidence in my Argentina team. Really? So, I'm not gonna say they're gonna win by enough, a lot, and obviously this is a round of 16 knock around, so yeah. it's the introduction to extra time, and I think this will actually go to extra time. Um, so, I'm going to say, what will I say? I am going to say a 2-1 Argentina. Mm. I say penalties and France. How about this one? Uruguay and Portugal. Luis Suarez and Cristiano Ronaldo. For me? Yeah. Um, a one of win to Portugal, 90 minutes. I think Ronaldo will score. I think they're just a better team in general. All right, so there we have it, Portugal. As Liam says, we'll get the better think? of Uruguay. I also think Portugal win. I'm saying more 2-1, getting that winner in extra time. Uruguay yet to concede a goal so far in the World Cup. So let's see if they'll be able to keep another clean sheet or if this will be the end of the road for the Uruguayans. Well, that's it for final whistle for today of day 15 of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. I'm Simon Preston and this is Liam Henriquez. Simone. Simon Preston, not Simon, don't listen to Liam, please. So stay tuned for us on Saturday where we look at the round of 16 in the 2018 FIFA World Cup.